Hi everybody, I am going to teach you all how to make a mobile bird like this. Um, so we're going to start off, it's really simple, we're going to start off with a template which can be sent to you, which looks like this. Excuse the um, paint marks on this one and also my printer printed it out a bit green. Um, but it's, it is white. So basically, you start with this template. It's really easy. You just have the three parts. You've got the tail here, the wings, and the body of the bird. And the first thing you have to do is cut it, cut them out, cut these shapes out. So something like this. Um, so you cut round all the little details. So you can, it looks like the, the feathers. So you've got these three parts. So you can see the other side is white. Um, and basically, it's just a question of slotting them all together. So all you need, basically, at the end is a piece of thread to hang it up. Um, something to poke a hole, like a needle or a pin or something. Um, and then a little bit of tape just to attach it. But that at the top is the only bit of tape that you use. Other than that, everything is just slotted in. Um, you'd make little cut marks. So once you've cut out your um, your template, as you can see from my bird, it's painted with watercolour. So I actually cut these out from on paper and then traced round them onto a piece of um, watercolour paper. Or you can use coloured card or you can just, you just want something a bit thicker because this is a bit too flimsy. So you're going to get, so for example, if you imagine this was a piece of card, you're just going to then trace round this bit that you have um that you've cut out from the printer and then you're going to cut then that piece of card out obviously if your printer takes card then you could print this directly onto card but I'm not sure that everyone has a printer that can print with thick paper if you see what I mean um so once you have then put these onto your pieces of card and cut them out then you will have the three bits again <clears throat> which are made of the thicker material which is easier to slot together. Um, next step would be to paint it, because it's obviously difficult to paint while it's all after it's assembled. Um, I've just gone for a mixture of different colours. These are watercolour paints, so they like spread really nicely with each other. They tend to kind of blend really nicely. I've um, done a little eye there, and the beak is yellow, so you can paint whatever colour you want for your bird. If you don't want to paint it or if you don't have paints at home you can always just make marks. So if you can see here I've also done pencil marks for the feathers and you could just have your whole bird just like um, pencil marks. You can just mark the feathers instead of painting it or use felt tips, colouring pencils, whatever you've got at home. Um, so to make the slits to um, be able to put it all together you're going to make one at the top here this is for the wings, okay? And the way that you measure how thick that, that line, how long that line is going to be, is it's going to be the width of the wings, because obviously that's sitting, that's going to sit in there <clears throat> like that, and you don't want it really any um, longer than that, because otherwise it might slide around. So you're going to measure the width of the wings. You want it roughly, obviously, in the middle of the bird, um, and you make, and then you measure about a centimetre and a half down from that, so as you can see here, um, and that's where you cut your line, so it's not right at the top, so you've got a bit of a hold on this bit. Um, you, In order to get the wings in, you have to make a cut down this side, so this is where I've got a little bit of um, glued card over the top because I wanted to seal it shut, but um, yeah, so you cut down and then you cut along, if that makes sense, so mine's actually got a bit of a gap. I was a bit too um, generous with my cutting. So that's how you get the wings in and then you just slip them in um, with the pointy bits going forwards, if you can see. And then um, for the tail, it's super simple. You literally just cut a line. Um, I can even take it out and show you. So you just cut a line here, if you can see that. And then you also cut a line in the tail. Um, and then you just slot them in together like that and they just hold. Um, after you've slotted the wings in, 
you then just tape it shut because it obviously have um, a little bit of an opening. So you can either, what I did was got card and glued it on and then painted it, or you can just literally sellotape it. That's also easy. Um, that's basically done. Super simple. And um, then you just need to make a hole. So as I said earlier, you can use a needle or just a small pin. You want it to be quite a small hole, otherwise it might um, tear and not hold properly. Um, so I've done it about half a centimetre down. You could do it even a centimetre. And depending on where you do it, the bird is going to hang differently. So if you want it fate, like pointing down a little bit when it swings round, then you're going to do it about where I've done it here. If you can see where I've done that. Um, my paper had been rolled up beforehand. It was stored rolled, so that's why the wings are a bit um, a bit funny. They're not completely straight. So if you can get paper or card even, like watercolour paper or card, that is straight, that would probably be better because then it will fly a bit more evenly than mine's a bit wonky. But I love it anyway. Um, so yeah, that is all. So all you need for that, for this, um, as I said at the beginning, is the template, which can be sent to you. Um, some kind of card or thicker paper, something to decorate it. So either paints or colouring pencils, felt tips, whatever you want. A little bit of thread or string, thin preferably. And then something to poke the hole and a bit of sellotape. And you are good to go. And then you can just hang it up and enjoy it in your house. And you can make as many as you want. Hope you enjoy it.